Being a musician, I'm, I'm always drawn to the music, especially now, but there's so many other elements that help contribute to the music, and the music influences the art and the literature as well, so it's just this big melting pot of Kentucky culture for me. I'm always surrounded by music at home and especially here at work too, so, and um, then any of the extracurricular things I do, other bands. And, the, the Wooks has been an interesting adventure over the past almost two years now. Um, it's a five-piece band. A lot of people consider it a bluegrass band, but traditionalists might think of it as more progressive bluegrass, and I agree with them. We're, we're falling in some of those same lines of singer-songwriter meets bluegrass. Yeah, I did a radio show for um, WMKY, Moorhead State Public Radio, for a little over 11 years. So every Sunday I was on the air and um, Arthur Hancock, he's the banjo player and kind of the lead singer for the band, um, he would call me every Sunday requesting songs. And he said, I'm a banjo player and we ought to get together and play. And so he and I got together after many months of just talking over the phone on Sunday afternoons and uh, finally played music and it clicked. It, um, it just felt really good. They kind of have the same attitude about music that I do. We share this love of modern songwriting and good songs about people and our place, and, but doing it with a bluegrass ensemble. This band in particular has really gotten me excited about playing music in front of an audience again. It had been a while since I'd been in a serious band, so yeah, I'm very thankful that Arthur and I developed this relationship and then it's led on to these other great connections and um, really a fun environment to make music. So.